Yes, guys, it has finally happened. I got classic Super Sonic. Oh yeah, I got Vector too. I'll I'll be reviewing these. Let's go. First, I'll start off with Vector. Vector is nice. Second Vector plus in existence. Same goes for Super Sonic. <laughs> We're talking about. Yeah, he looks nice. Sorry about the resolution. <laughs> I'm filming this at night, so that's why it's like this. Okay. So he has like this hand like this. I like like holding it next to his phone, so it's like you know, like that. His spikes, they're nice. His tail is curved, nice. His touch tag has Sonic the modern. His shoes, the where are his feet? Where, oh, there they are. His feet, and they have his stuff. He has his gold chain. He's iced out. And yeah, he's really nice. The tag of him, I got him from Target. So, I don't know why his tag's in there. Well, anyway, enough of that vector. Let's talk about the, the awesomeness about the set. Sorry, Victor. But who could top classic Super Sonic? Yes, it's him. I finally got him. After seven months of waiting, finally got him. Or after I saw that Pat Mac video, I was waiting for him. I came out, it was rare, but I finally got him. After all that waiting, it was worth it. First, let's start with his face. You see, we, he got his eyes. His nose, though, it looks a little, sh a little bit short. I'm not arguing. Because it's a classic super sign. He's frowning. His spikes are nice. They're all up. That, that, that one on top look, it looks like a normal one, so it reminds me of Shadow. And then here on his ears, the, the it looks a little big, but eh, who knows. There's his hang string. Uh, I'll show that how he's flying later in the video. Well, here's his body. He has his circle thing, his white, his yellow fur. He has his arm and his gloves. He's, he's in the fist, like in the picture. Though on this, on this arm, he there's a little like skin poking out. But honestly, I'm not even arguing. The other hand, it's nice. It's the same thing, though no skin is poking out. His ta his touch tags, Tommy, and the original classics. Logo Sonic the Hedgehog. Here we got his feet. Hold up, I gotta show his back spikes. They were fine. Here we got his legs. No yellow was poking out. And his shoes look nice. Well, yeah. Where? Oh, well, yeah. That, that's my vector. My Tommy Teen Spring Vector and Classic Supersonic. It's cool that Classic Supersonic has his tag. So I'm able to see what it looks like. There's that art or artwork. There's some other stuff. Here's Tommy three plus up, and there's nothing. Over here, just some other stuff. I wish they did artwork like the 25th anniversary, but honestly, who cares? It's classic Super Sonic. You already know. In my next plushie video, you'll know who's gonna, who's the, gonna be the main star. You know. And look, he's flying. That is a nice touch. Long last, I finally have him and stuff. After months of waiting, and I was checking him on eBay and stuff, and this is also a story of me getting this, so tune in. <laughs> alright, so... Alright, so I was looking up... I, when I, my channel already started. I, I thought to myself, hmm, maybe I should do... A video of Supersonic. So I, on eBay, I looked up classic Supersonic plushie. Or, but it's the E from plushie, whatever, whatever. Anyways, I looked it up. I saw the Sonic the Fighters one. So I was $2,000. I was like, no way. So I knew I couldn't make the video. It was canceled. But I saw the Pat Mac video of Tommy in 2018. And it, it said classic Supersonic. When I heard it, first heard it, I knew that video was finally going to be made. 
And of course, I'm gonna do a review of it, which is the video what you're watching right now. Well, anyways. Oh yeah, fast forward three months later, I I decided to go to Toys R Us, which was, was dumb, because they're because they were going out of business, and and I'm pretty sure they're not getting any new stuff. Like I remember, like a third of it, or like a oh, one third of it is like it was like empty, or a fourth of it, I don't know. When, well, anyways, yeah. And then four months later, I wanted to get them, so I looked on eBay, and they had some. He was like thir The first one I saw was on thirty was for thirty five dollars, which, which like when I get stuff from eBay, the m maximum is like thirty dollars. So I was gonna use my money though, cause I usually use my dad's money. So yeah, but they don't go like over thirty. So I use my money to get this guy. Well, yeah. Yeah, I was going to use it, but then a day later, someone bought him. Fast forward fast forward to J July, I looked up on eBay again for him. I saw him. He was only for like 32 for like $30. I knew I'd finally get him. So yeah, I was really excited, but then someone bought it. Like days later, someone bought it. But then I found another one for thir for $38. If someone bought that one, but then I found another one for thirty-two dollars. Someone bought that one, but then I found one for thirty-four dollars. Someone bought that one, and then I found one for forty-five dollars. Someone bought that one, and eventually we went. So the so like the day I it was so we went to Target on Wednesday Wednesday. Or Tuesday, Ju July seventeenth, aka the day Sonic Mania Plus comes out came out. So anyway, we went to Target. I checked out the plushie just in the plushie section where I got Vector, just just in case that they had him. They didn't have him though. They had the twenty seventeen Sonic and Metal Sonic, as long as Vector, Eggman, and Chow. So yeah, I. So yeah, and then my si my sister and brother came. She she said she had something for me. And it was this guy. Mhm. Mm I paid with my money, though I still have like four dollars and quarters. I I don't have any more paper money though. But I mean, it makes sense though. So I guess it makes sense. No, you're again. Well, ah. Well, anyways, yeah, we bought it, and as soon as the, my dad paid for it, it was officially mine. I beat the odds, and I finally got him. I, it was funny, because when I got him, I was, like, pretending he was beating up the odds. <laughs> Take that odds. <laughs> I finally got him. And, yeah, I was really excited. I showed my uncle and stuff, and, yeah. But one thing is that my sister said how like I couldn't get any more stuff after this for, like for a while, but I said deal because what else would I want to get? I mean yeah, there's the child plushie, but that will be it for another day. And any so anyways, that was the story of how I got my classic supersonic plushie, the supersonic 64 Poochie, signing off.